we we'll come back to another week. Sorry for the hair because we just slept on the on the land in the tent and the work arrived at 6 a.m. So don't didn't didn't even have a time for the shower. So sorry for the look. This week we're starting the floor of the bodega, maybe the toilet, maybe the wall. See how far we goes. But things moving fast already for 7:40 and things are already intense. So action. Before we get started, let's have a little recap. I'm Tash and this is JB. Welcome to our little jungle land in Osara, Costa Rica. The last six months we have been clearing up the land, getting a feel of the landscape and insects, and started developing our first container home by ourselves with a bit of help. With no prior experience, we tackle each new project each week and bring you along with us. Are you ready? Let's go. P.S. Subscribe, it's free. Another busy day on the land and sorry if we do too many time lapses because it gets so busy and it's just sometimes easier to track what's actually going on and yeah so let me go and show you what we've done today so this floor has been done it's now got the top layer of concrete and then after that we're gonna put a layer to seal it and also like avoid stains and stuff because there's so much like as soon as you put a little bit of mud on it it actually just goes a little bit brown and it's difficult to remove so we're gonna do that and then so you can see that like, kind of the difference between the shiny concrete and the not so shiny concrete this really does feel like a war zone <laughs> it's been quite intense like you've got our stove oven we've got like all of our stuff all over the place and it's another night we're hoping in like the next month or actually in the next like two weeks um to have the bathroom sorted and the shower and then we can close up this section where we can store everything and then we can actually move into the container and start doing some work in the container so as you can see like the floor is still um raw concrete they have taken a brick like this concrete, I don't know where it is, this concrete brick, oh there it is. They take this thing, you have to take the brick, concrete brick, and push it up and down the concrete floor. And it is seriously your morning workout, like you don't need any gym when you're working here. So we did that this morning, and then we've also dug the holes, this is where the toilet is going to go. This is the shower area, we've filled this up with rebar and some concrete so it's going to be a full-on concrete wall and a shallower one over here and then a higher one over here we're not sure yet if there's going to be any splash so we're going to have to see and if there is we might put a glass um a glass window over here just to avoid like the splash going onto the onto the toilet and then on this section is going to be our closet area so this is basically all of our clothing is going to fit over here. Well, our seasonal clothing and then the rest can go into the bodega room. Look how beautiful those stairs are. <laughs> we're probably going to also put like a piece of wood just so that you don't see underneath the container. And then we're going to close up this area too and probably put like another step. So we don't want to see, you know, underneath anything. Um, but a lot of this is just going to take us time and like eventually we'll get it done is as soon as we can just move in it's like a good victory i wasn't expecting them to do that i thought they would just drill a hole and then close it with the wall but obviously you need to hold the plumbing in some way or another i don't know if that's the normal way to do it but yeah and then we've also created like 
this is little steps so that the water doesn't flow out of the out of the shower this is the plan i feel like we haven't really spoken to you much about it it's just been go 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 and yeah we're getting there slowly oh my goodness it's six o'clock and i guess we should get up and start the day my word i'm exhausted <laughs> Uh, the coyotes last night were going nuts, which makes Rusty go nuts, and oh my goodness, I really could do with like a hotel. <laughs> Joking, but it's always a beautiful view waking up to this. Look at that beautiful place. We have a little morning visitor in the trees again. Not sure if you can see him. He's over there climbing. I love the morning monkeys. <laughs> He's so cute. What's up, my love? Ready to put everything back into the container? Yes. And close the container again and put everything back inside. So, no more sleeping on the land for a little while. It doesn't look like much, it looks like a big mess. But we're trying to create like some form of garden walking area. So, this bottom section over here is going to be in gravel. Rusty's helping us dig. And then this is all going to be garden. So, hard work clearing up mud okay so now we need to go and fill up the container so that we can sleep things are already starting to take shape like the wall make such a big difference on the building. Look at that. So, bathroom start to look nice. The view is nice. Space for clothes for tash. And the bodega extra bedroom with a nice view. So yeah, things are really moving, moving good. Still waiting for the window. I hope the window will be installed this week. So I'm waiting for the delivery to be confirmed. Today, as I said, I did some trenches to put the water pipe to be able to get the water, obviously. So it's a bit exhausting to, to, to dig trenches, but that that moving forward i'm going to show you quickly what my trenches look like so far christmas get close i don't know if we're going to get a toilet for christmas that would be a nice a nice present for tash you know i like my happy christmas uh you have toilet but i'm not sure we'll see we'll see so here's the building is the arrival the pipe is going underground when we did the septic tank and the arrival is like down in a jungle so I'm busy currently cutting there. All the way there, it's a bit messy there, but... And like... All the way to the pipe, you can maybe see there. I didn't think we about the angle. So the pipe, you can't do like too many angles. So the pipe is flexible, but here my angle is a bit wrong. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to redo to make a better angle because... Uh, that's not gonna work for a pipe, so I'm gonna have to make something more like this. But yeah, through the jungle. For the deep net, I'm just digging until I'm exhausted and until I feel like the things are nice and safe, but I'm not sure I really need to go very deep because we will never build anything there. It will just grow, so I don't know. I'm just trying to make something 
clean because I don't want to have to redo it, but yeah. I'm gonna have one sour coffee for the finish the day, cleaning a bit the place, and I will head back home. In addition, with Tash, we started also the landscape. I don't know if she already thought about it, but we started to dig a bit here and to prepare this path. So that looks much better, but there's still a lot of work here because we want to build the stairs and this platform and the stairs there. It's a lot of work, but the rainy season is officially started. And apparently, according to what I hear today, because two days ago and last night and for the last few days, there have been earthquake around here. So the other night I felt the container moving and apparently in the local tradition, when you have an earthquake, it's the beginning of the summer. The summer. It's just like if God was like, Summer guys, so apparently when you feel the earthquake is the beginning of summer. So now we are just waiting for the wind because apparently when the summer start, the wind start to pick up really hard. But I think now we are on the transition, like the earthquake is down. The, the, wind, the, the wind is not there yet. So maybe there can still be rain, I hope not. So now everybody's waiting for the wind. I'm not, I'm not like particularly expecting the wind, but that's once the wind is there, it's definitely no more rain until next season, April, May, I know. So we have, the good news is like, we're gonna have six months now to do that and no more mud. So, but now we're trading the mud for the dust. Like here, a lot of dirt road and so everything's drying. So yeah, I don't know what I prefer, the dirt, the mud or the, the dust. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the mud or the dust? Oh, I guess you're not living in the jungle, but good question. End of the day updates, uh, you can see the wall has have all been installed, so now you can actually see the window, mosquito, the shape, the what it looks like, so it looks pretty nice, so now we still need to put, on this, need to put the um, drywall uh, product on top to finalize. So for those who have been wondering, if some of you have been wondering, so as you can see, the structure has been metal, so just welding. And this, the wall we're putting on top, it's called Duroc. It's actually cement. So it's like kind of a tissue mesh in which they pour cement. So basically we are having cement wall drilled on the metal structure, which is very nice for here because the cement doesn't care about the water and the humidity. It's very waterproof and moist proof. You can use that for inside, I, I would say, but Generally, after inside, you used the normal drywall to finish, but I will see because I have some left, so maybe I will use it for inside. And once we put this dry uh, Duroc concrete screw on the metal, after we put like, uh, it's called Muro uh, Mortier. And after, voila, so, and after you can paint and do whatever. So maybe inside, I don't know how, how we're gonna do the wall, but maybe I'm gonna use the same uh, concrete wall, mort mortier, painting, and maybe after tell. So a lot of layer. I realized that construction is a lot about hiding stuff. So the structure is slowly disappearing and, but it looks nice, it looks very nice. So tomorrow we're gonna finish from there, gonna finish putting the mortier on the wall to make it like clean. So that looks already much better. And we're gonna receive the windows. And voila, and voila, voila. For those who like my voila, special ded dedicace. So I'm gonna have to have a, la a last uh, a goûter, let's say, a snack on the platform to enjoy the sunset and go back home. And that will be done for today. I'm busy trying to take it higher. Got no time for never, only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company. 
So as I said, while the guys are busy like uh, finishing the wall, I was busy with the trenches. But it's been three days and I'm going nowhere. So this piece, I thought it would be easier, but actually in the ground there is so many roots. Like it's half shovel, half machete, half shovel and machete because it's not a great achievement but sometimes you can't always do great and it's very hot here, it's humid, there is no hair spreading. Everything looks good, things are moving forward. I've been having a break with the trenches and I've been digging some stairs because our land as you see is a lot of st step but there is no stair to move around so it's quite exhausting to constantly go up and down so now I'm like trying to increase a little bit our comfort and the land so I'm trying to make a lot of steps where we because now we know basically where we always walk and where we is our favorite area of uh, movement so I'm doing some stairs but it's exhausting but uh, taking slowly, I'm going somewhere, I'm going to show you and, and here are the monkey and Rusty is trying to hit the, mo and the monkey but he can't climb to the tree Yeah, where's monkey Rusty? Well, it's not finished but it's Friday evening, 3 p.m. I'm tired, it's, it's gonna rain, maybe Rooftop pool, got a heli on speed Ocean view from the high